and welcome back to the channel and today i'm going to be building an explorer spacecraft to explore a new planet um oh look at look at first person in this thing and i asked you guys on the community tab of uh, my youtube channel which planet i should explore next and overwhelmingly with 62 percent you guys chose dune um which now that i'm like looking around I, uh, is that dude? I think I think is that one dude? You know what? Let's go back to Galena 9. We got to look at the map a little bit here. All right, so we got Miko Terra. Looks kind of green, doesn't it? Um where's dude? So dude, I'm pretty sure is the big one. There's dude there. So this must be dune right here. All right, so if we look out of the space station, that's I did think that one was dude, but the glowing of that one and how big it looked. Wait, is that one dune? I think this one might be dune. Hold on, we gotta, uh, I just gotta fly into the atmosphere real quick and see. Oh wait, I'm stupid. I can bring up the map. <laughs> okay, this is Dune. It's labeled very clearly right here. So it is the one that I am facing now. Okay, good, it's not that one. Yeah, that one looks a lot smaller now that I'm looking at it. I thought it was just farther away, so it looks smaller. So, um, I am going to go ahead and get to the surface of Dune because I think I want to explore it with a land vehicle it makes the most sense because it is going to have gravity and trying to manage like a flying vehicle in an atmosphere with gravity is going to be very, very hard. But let's get over there first. Let's see what the gravity even feels like. And also, I want to see what it's like to enter an atmosphere. So notice our speed, 435 kilometers an hour, 436. Let's see what happens once we enter the atmosphere. Okay, gravity has increased our speed. Oh, and then the atmosphere decreased our- Whoa, we have a lot of atmosphere here. All right, we have, our speed has decreased by a lot. And we have 0.57 gravity. Surprisingly, I, I really feel like this thing is actually pretty capable on here. So here's the spawn point. If we were to actually spawn over here, but of course I didn't want to spawn here. I wanted to fly here. Oh, there's such cool things. Hold on a second. <gasps> Hold on, I see some loot. And boop. Ow. Oh, wait, you can- wait, can I enter build- Oh, so can I take off? Yes, I can. The reason why I wanted to take off is because- Oh, oh, I wanted to fly through these rings. This is harder than I was expecting it to be. Ow. I did fine. I didn't need those parts. I didn't need those parts. Yeah. There we go. Oh my god, there's so many flight paths. I'm having too much fun with this. I gotta build a land vehicle. All right. I know there's probably like hidden caves and stuff on here too, but this stuff is made for flight. This is so awesome. We. <laughs> All right. Um. Now, oh look at the more rings. There's so many cool stunts you can do on this uh on this map. All right, and boop. Oh no. All right, now let's build our first Land Rover. Wait, do I see more gold? I'm gonna get distracted by more gold real quick. Hold on. I don't even know why I'm getting gold because I think I I think I unlocked everything from all the previous campaigns. I'm an OG trail maker. Yeah, I have 64,506 gold. Yeah, I just went to double check. Uh, yeah, I have everything unlocked. So there's no there's no real point to me getting gold other than to you know sometimes saving for the future is nice. Who knows what might happen in the future of this game? Okay, so let's build. I don't even know if there's any host. I don't think there's hostels on this planet. So I'm. I'm gonna just build an exploration-based vehicle. I'm gonna use the spaceship cockpit because it is so cool looking. And let's just see what I can come up with. All right, definitely gonna want some engine power on this thing. So I'm put, slapping some engines down underneath here. And I'm putting them down below because I kind of want a lower center of mass if possible. Okay, this, uh, I, I, just, I, I really got in a zone here. Um, so I just kept building and building and forgetting to say anything about it. But I think I have the body, the main part of the body down. I'm going to add some more up here. And also there's some functionality I want to add to this thing. But first, I got to test this. We are in half gravity. I may have added too many engines to this thing. Yeah, I just may have added too many engines. But... I can always, I can always control my throttle a little bit. I could also add more weight to this thing, potentially. This thing is very, very floaty right now because we're in half, half G. So let me go ahead and replace some of these blocks up on the front here with a bunch of weight. Let's see how this affects us. So before the weight, we're at 549 kilograms. And with the weight I'm adding, we are at 749. This definitely feels a little bit more reasonable. 
Oh, by the way, look at how well the tires contact with the ground now. They fixed the issue with the tires uh, going through the ground, and it just everything looks and feels so much more realistic. All right. This actually is not too bad. Gonna have some decent maneuverability with this thing. Okay, so now I need some more things. Like, this thing has to have lights on it. Um, how am I gonna do lights and stuff? And also, I have an idea where I want to... I want to have some downwards thrust capabilities. Here, let me actually stiffen the suspension up just a little bit. And the reason why I want to do that is because in the thrust, I actually want to have, I want to be able to toggle downwards thrust on. So I want to put these on the top. These are going to toggle with shift. So now when I press them, yeah, now uh, I don't know what the train's going to be like, but I kind of want to be able to wall climb if possible. Uh, I didn't build the front of my vehicle the best for wall climbing because right now my nose is totally going to interfere like that. Here, let me turn this off first. There we go. I'll just destroy the nose. So now look at this. This is an exploration rover right here. All right, so I want lights as well. I want a pretty good coverage because in case we find any caves or anything like that, and I know that there is a new light on here. Where are the lights? Gadgets, here we go. So we have a normal headlamp, but we also have this thing. Actually curious, what if I just slap this down right here? That's a little bit too massive, isn't it? That actually doesn't look too bad with those there. What if I have a rotating servo right here, and then I, I slap a large headlamp on top of the rotating servo, and now I can aim this very, very large headlamp all the way around as a spotlight. Yeah. All right, I think I've pretty much got the whole shape of this thing down. Now I'm just going to add some aesthetic pieces like the greebles and things like that and antennas and just uh, and paint it up and see what we can end up with. And then we're ready to explore the planet. Okay, I think it is finished. So uh, I have the options to turn all these different lights on and off. I got some side lights. They don't actually brighten up anything, surprisingly. Um, I think just the, the spotlight looking headlights actually are what causes lights to um, occur. But now, uh, oh, I'm getting some sparks on here. Okay, probably seems to be gone. Put a couple of extra pieces in there. So yeah, I can turn the spotlight um, and I can also turn it on and off, which is kind of nice. So let's keep it off for now and let's explore this planet. So I'm going to put the uh, the downwards thrust on. It just seems a lot more stable to downward th the downwards thrust on because if I turn too sharp with it off, you can see because of the low gravity, it uh, it tumbles quite a bit. Oh boy, we are tumbling. We are really tumbling right now. Now it is time to explore this island. I am at the central reef. I don't know if there's anything else other than the reef to explore at the central reef. Oh boy, I don't think I have my uh, thrusters on again. Making that mistake, I need an indicator of when my downwards thrust is on. All right, I'm gonna put all of these lights right here. I will then give the same button as my thrust off by default. So when I press shift, that tells me that my thrust is on, my downwards thrust. All right, now we should have a much easier time exploring. All right, let us explore. So I wanna go to the ancient tech labs. Let me put down a marker, uh, put down a beacon. Oh, whoa, even with, even with my thrust on, ow. Okay, this thing uh, might need a little bit more downwards thrust, actually. And I thought about putting some auto stabilizers in, but the problem with the auto stabilizers is they would stabilize me to the horizontal of just just a sea level horizontal. And with the terrain of this, that would actually hurt me, I think, more than help me. All right, here we go. We got some tech labs over here. Let's start with this one. What does first person look like in this? Ooh. Ooh, this is pretty cool. I actually kind of like first person. Here, let's go in here in first person and see what there is to see. Oh, am I going to fit? Oh, I see some gold in here. All right, hold on. Oh, yeah. Okay, I have I have plenty of room. I thought I was going to be able to go back in. I don't have plenty of room. Do I have plenty of room? Is my antenna going to mess me up here? Ah, no. I regret antenna. Oh, my goodness. It's all right. I didn't need that. All right, looks like we got some more loot at the ancient tech lab. Yeah. I forgot to put the thrusters on. There we go. Thrusters active. Oh, there's a much easier way in and out of here. Okay, that would have been good to know. All right, let's go over to this part. There's probably some more loot over here. All right. Whoa. Oh, boy. All right, now I'm really glad I have my downwards thrust, especially for getting up something like this. There we go. Okay, is there anything up on that part? 
Doesn't look like it. Let's head over. Ah, oh, there we go. I see some loot. All right, I don't know if there's any caves on this island, but I have a suspicion that somewhere there is a sandworm. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, I should have turned off the thrust at that point. Can I squeeze my way out of the back here? I think I can. There we go. All right, one more wreckage uh, fuselage thing over here. All right, probably... Yeah, there it is. All right, I'm glad I made a land vehicle. Wait a minute. How do I get... How do I get that loot? I guess I could fly over there with my, um... My character real quick. Grab that. I actually really like how this vehicle turned out. I spent a lot of... I spent like an hour on it. All right, and let's go out this way. There we are. All right, so that was the ancient tech labs. What is at the western reef? Let's head over in that direction. All right, so we had the central reef, and it looks like this is the western reef. It doesn't seem like the reefs are loot based located. Well, there probably is some loot. I did find some loot around the reef, but I don't think these are really good ground based locations to explore. It seems like there's these uh, pillars instead. Wait a minute. Hold on. What is this? There's like a big rock formation over here. Strangely large for like. <gasps> oh. Oh, I see. I think I found the sandworm on the map. But what is this all about? Looks like there's a hole to fly through. Wait, is that a hole to fly through? Or, hold on. You think I can drive up in here? I haven't tested the uh, wall riding capability since I added all this weight. I also took off some thrust. But here we go. This is such a strange place to be driving to. Oh yeah, there is loot here. And I drove to it too. All right, I really like this vehicle. Look at this thing. I love this thing. It takes me a lot of effort to build something that looks aesthetically nice. I have got, I got to do a lot of, a lot of thinking. Got to use my brain parts. All right, what? You know what? I want to drive off the edge real quick. I, I don't know what happens. I turned my downwards thrust off. I'm just going to drive off the edge. Oh, there's no more atmosphere here. Uh. Well, that answered that question. I have entered deep space. All right, so we're gonna head to the reed forest next and we will just spawn right back in the middle. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, the reed forest. This isn't what I was expecting for the reed forest. Bones in the reed forest? Oh. Oh, we are approaching the the maw. Are these the reeds? These, they, they, all these red things are probably the reeds. All right, let's go ahead and check out this rock. You think I can scale this rock? Oh, hold on. Ooh. I see some more skeletons. Oh, yeah, there's a loot thing right there. But look at these skeletons. Okay, I don't see anything, any loot in the skull or anything like that. Do you, like, you think I can drive up to that one? I think I can. Let's try it. There we go. Oh, this is going to be tough. This part's going to be really tough. All right, come on. I might need... Oh! I think I have just enough downforce. That was awesome. All right, you know what this thing needs is a landing softener as well. I'm gonna drive off though. Here we go. Uh, uh, okay, that wasn't too bad. It was survivable, barely. All right, I'm gonna turn my, I feel like it's getting dark for some reason. I'm gonna turn my spotlight on. Okay, here is the mouth. Is there anything, do you think, down there? Whoa, is that a cave? Is that a cave in the mouth? Can I drive through this or is it gonna kill me instantly? I'm gonna try to drive through this. This is crazy. Here it goes. I'm not taking damage. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is bad. I need to turn off my downwards force real quick. Real quick. There we go. Okay, this is crazy. I haven't even, like, there's still a couple other things I didn't explore. Oh, what? It's so dark. Oh, okay, that was weird. All right, I'm just gonna try to... Wait, my tires are popping. Oh, no! <gasps> Can I not go in? It totally looked like a cave, didn't it? I wonder if there's a way underneath. Oh, I'm going back there. All right, hold on. I'm gonna try to go in there with my ship. All right, this ship isn't the best for, uh, for taking off on gravity planets, but... Or actually going slow or hovering or... It's really the worst thing for what I'm about to do right now, but I gotta try it. All right, here it goes. I was going to go right into the middle and try not to touch anything. It looks open, but it seemed like it was like an invisible barrier that's going to kill me. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's an invisible barrier that kills you. 
Okay, note to self, uh, and for any other explorers that come here, do not fly into the giant mouth of teeth. If it wasn't already obvious enough, bad idea to fly into the giant mouth of teeth. Okay, now let's check out Turin's remains. All right, we are approaching. It looks like it's just a giant rib cage. Who's Turin? Who is Turin? Is there anything around here? Any loot or anything? I mean, that's the remains. Poor Turin. All right, let's continue on. There looks like there's a bunch over here. Is that the uh, the plateau? Aluba's plateau. Oh, there's definitely something on top of that. There's a plateau up there with some loot for sure. I wonder if I can drive up there. I'm gonna try it. All right, here it is. Oh, this is such a cool shot with the sun in the background. All right, looks like there's a center like network. All right, starting here. Come on. I don't have the, tra there it is. There's the traction. Okay. All right, getting over this part's gonna be rough. Oh, oh, come on. I'm getting like mixed traction. We are traversing some very difficult terrain for a ground vehicle. Oh, wait, is that, is that a different Chirpo ship? I'm gonna have to go out and uh, see if I can rendezvous with that ship. Cause I don't think that's the same one that goes around the space station. Okay, here we go. There's definitely something up there, but what is, uh, ow. What is this? Okay. It's like a little mini cave. Eh, ow. Oh, this looks cool. Oh, there's loot up here. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, there's a lot of loot up here. Oh, this is, this is nice. I just went from rich to still rich. Ah, ah, I don't turn the thrust back on. All right, but I got to get up there. Can I get up there, do you think? All right, this looks like it'll, it'll be slightly easier, but the the approach, the mount up is going to be the hardest part. I gotta think I got to go at like a little bit of an angle. I'm going to back up like this. Uh, I went too fast. Uh, got to find the right angle. Uh, see, this is, uh, this is harder than I was expecting. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, 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 yes. Go. Why is it going backwards at times? That's weird. Here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. Yes! We have the best off-road exploration rover ever invented right here. Is NASA doing this on Mars? I don't think so. There we go, we made it up here. Yep, I knew there was gonna be loot up here. There had to have been. Only 250 though, there's more loot down there than up here. I really don't think I'm gonna be able to traverse this thing, but it's not gonna stop me from trying. There we go, oh, look at this. Look at this. I'm doing it. I'm actually doing it. Oh, oh, no way. Oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. I, I knew there wasn't going to be anything up here, but I cannot believe I just did that. This is actually the ultimate uh, exploration vehicle right here. Oh, oh, no, no, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. All right, you ready for this? And go. Uh, here, go, go. Okay, okay. I think I've driven to all of the labeled areas. So now I'm just going to do an aerial sweep just to make sure I didn't miss anything significant. I do feel like there might be loot on the tops of these areas, maybe. Yeah, there's one right there. With my plane, though, it's going to be a little bit weirder. I'll just, uh, 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 there we go. Nailed that landing. All right, I think that might be it for the loot in this area. All right, now, yeah, I'm just going to do a quick flyover to make sure I didn't miss any, like, hidden caves or something. I was really thinking that that, uh, that mouth may have been a hidden cave, but it is just, it's a death trap. It's exactly what it looks like. Okay, flying over Dune uh, doesn't look like I missed anything. I don't know. Maybe you guys have seen some stuff in other videos. Let me know if I did miss anything, but I think I covered pretty much everything. So all that's left that I wanted to do for this video was find that Chirpo that was seemed to be orbiting Dune. Because I think that was a different Chirpo, and if it was, it probably has a different dialogue that I want to see. I don't see it anymore. I swear it was like right here when I saw it. I'm pretty sure. Where are you? Is that him? No, that's the one that was going around the space station. Unless, does he like figure eight all the way around through the entire uh, solar or the 
system here. Well, I'm going to watch him for a little bit and see if he comes over in this direction. He's turning in this way now. I just thought he was orbiting the, uh, the Galena 9 station, but we'll see where he goes. Oh, there he is. This is a different one. So there's that one over there, and now there's this one. Okay, excellent. Wait for me. Oh, he's kind of fast. I wonder how fast they are by default. Yeah, he's totally pulling away from me. Hold on. This is uh, a little bit crazier than I was expecting. All right, here we go. Now we're going to get some thrust. <gasps> no! He's gone. Did he just... Did he just do what I think he did? Did he just teleport to the other side? All right. Oh, no, there he is. There he is. He just, he just went out of rendering distance. Okay, where are you going? What is your mission? This spacecraft is so terrible compared to my other one. Oh, my God. This guy is so fast. This is a hard one to catch up to. I actually don't know if I'm fast enough. This guy's going to be so hard to uh, to get close enough to. Because, like, this is just the effect of inertia blocks. And if I don't have inertia blocks, though, I'm not going to be able to go. I've got to intercept him. Yeah, this guy is figure eating between multiple planets. There's uh, probably Miko Terra. Gonna save that for another episode. But I just need, I need to catch up to this guy. Okay, here we go. Slow down, will ya? Receiving transmission. Excellent. Oh, you he actually did slow down. Greetings, Trailmaker. Greetings. What brings you to this part of the universe? You! You brought me here. You're a fun guy. You can follow me to that fun guy planet. Ah, I get it. The smallest planet in the sector, well worth a visit. Oh, we were just talking about that. Truly beautiful, especially if you like giant mushrooms. Okay, interesting. I saw you around Dune. Sorry, I had I had to see what happens. But he's more interested in the Miko Terra. Are you? Do they slow down? He slowed down around the uh, the planet, I think. I don't know. This is so cool. What happens if I hit him? This is actually hard. This is hard to do because this vehicle is so bad. Eh. Eh. Wait, he's pulling away now. Oh my god, he totally changes velocity in between once he gets out of the orbit of a planet. He's like exactly the same speed as me. Look at this. Here we go, he's slowing down. He's slowing down. I wasn't expecting instant death. I've had hard collisions without dying before. Man. All right, well, I think we've done our due diligence of exploring and building the ultimate exploration rover, which I think fits this planet super well. I am very happy with this thing. This might even be good for Miko Terror over there too. But um, I'm going to put up another poll at some point for what the next planet you want me to visit is. There is a uh, hull room and there is Miko Terra. So give it a thought and be prepared for that poll to come out. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you do not miss it. If you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more stuff that you can find right here on the end screen. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.